All right, Tim, thank you. An unlikely crime is sweeping the state. Beehive thefts, and it has professional beekeepers going to great lengths now to protect their hives. The crimes are more common than you would expect, and Vanessa Rufus found out who could be behind them. And we call it, you know, bee rustling, just like they do cattle rustling. Keith Council knows what it's like to lose a significant slice of his livelihood. I've had uh, 100 boxes of bees that disappeared at one time. For a professional beekeeper, that's thousands of dollars in supplies and effort, grooming the bees into a cohesive colony. But council says the sting is more powerful than that. It's the lost revenue from the wax, from the honey that's produced, from our pollination contracts. It's all that loss, all in one shot. He says that loss is happening across the state, but he's alarmed at the rate it's going on here in southwest Florida, particularly Lehigh Acres. The latest theft happened this week when a local beekeeper lost 25 hives, valued at just over $2,000. Council says one colony of bees can cost two to three hundred dollars. He says that price has gone drastically up since disease started killing off some of the bees and more people have shown an interest in beekeeping. He says most of the crimes go unreported, but that doesn't mean keepers have given up. We're putting things in our boxes like low jacks and we can satellite watch our boxes. As for who's behind the thefts, council has a couple guesses. It could be somebody else here. It could be somebody that wants to get into beekeeping that, you know, is just trying to do it the lazy way. In Lee County, Vanessa Rufus, Wink News Now. Well, council says keepers also have their own unique serial numbers, which some have started hiding inside their hives. That way police can prove the boxes were stolen.